Hello. How's everyone doing? Oh, my camera is off. Hang on just a second. I mean, it, it's not off, but it, it's off. Um, yeah, I also realized that a lot of windows open. Hello, Ray Ray. How's it going? I know I already asked you that, and I know you already answered. <laughs> oh, give me just a second to try and fix this camera. It is too bright. I forgot I had switched it over. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Welcome in. Uh, if if I'm assuming correctly, you came over from Adrian's chat. Um, I should say, not assuming, I should say if I remember. Um, timing matches. <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in. Glad you're here. Uh, one of the things that uh, is a standard here in my chat is G Fuel. As you can see. Um, today's flavor is this little bad one over here. Maiden's Blood. Chosen by our lovely mod Rose Stargazer. It is a watermelon blueberry lychee flavor it is not something you'd expect from a resident evil inspired flavor let's just put it that way so yeah um i had a shit ton of issues getting started today i would have been almost on almost three hours ago had i not had these issues um so there's that <laughs> I switched from a wireless connection to a wired connection and everything just shit the bed. Um, so I didn't get a chance to do a lot of my normal stuff like comb my beard. <laughs> but uh, now we're good. We're running smooth. I need I need to fix all this shit. Uh, <laughs> it's just, and it's all still a little bit... Um, frizzy from from saturday um i've been trying to smooth it out but it's still just another thing that we do here is pokemon community game a lot of other streamers do it as well so if you uh, participate on any other streamers that use the pokemon community game uh it's the same thing here you just got to do the same stuff if not you just got to do exclamation pokey start if you'd like to start in fact here is all the helps if i'm on the chat oh, that should have been oh i haven't logged in yet oh. what might help is if i log into my bot <clears throat> <laughs> ah. Oh, come on. It's taking its sweet, sweet time. All right, there we go. Now here's all the stuff. There you go. Jeez. Oh, oh, man. Anyway, so, uh, one of the things, uh, you're the first person to see that new intro. Um, there's a couple kinks I have to work out. I just made that. Um, I just learned how to animate the, the line, everything. Oh, it was so crazy. I, I did that on Friday, I think. Um, so yeah, yeah, you're the first person to, uh, to ever see that uh, live. Um... Uh, you can't think of anything else that's new. Oh, 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 yes, I can. Um, one of the things that I do as well, um, is, uh, in my discord, we are, we just started our Disney movie marathon, uh, so to speak, uh, where we're going to be going through all the Disney animated movies from Snow White to Encanto in order. We just started that yesterday with snow white so here's the schedule 
<laughs> um, if you're interested in Discord. There's the link. I think that's the right link. Um, if not, well, just let me know if you if you want. You don't have to join. It's not a requirement. I'm really thirsty. Alrighty. Uh, so we left off. Um, something. I'm just going to talk. Someone just entered that usually plays a two minute video when they enter. <laughs> so I'm waiting for it. Just waiting for it. You know what's going to happen is I'm going to switch over to the game and then he's going to play it. Yep. That's what's going to happen. So there's also, um, let's talk about that for a minute. Um, I do have sound effects commands. I also have video clips commands. So it's something that can be done just about any time. Some, um, the longer ones are channel point redemptions. Um, for example, I've got an alternate ending skit from Mad TV for uh, Wizard of Oz, which is a couple minutes long. Uh, so yeah, but so uh, if you couldn't tell by a lot of some a lot of these that are named, I like Baby Plucky. Let's go down the hall. That's right. Want to go down the hall? Yes, dear. Want to go down the hall? Just it's a lot of stupid shit like that. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, we like to have fun here. Um, I was just interviewed not that long ago by Phantom Limb Gamer, a, a great guy in the retro community here on Twitch. And he asked me what new viewers could expect. Um, and I said, comfort with a hint of chaos. <laughs> well, there's your hint of chaos. Uh, <laughs> we're pretty, we're pretty easy going here. So, so yeah. Um, you know what, what, what's going to happen now is, um, why did that go? Why, why did? What in the, there it goes. We're just gonna head over here. Ta-da, welcome to the game. Look, Dorothy, there's someone who can help oh, you. Because okay. <laughs> oh. I said oh, so. Hi. Oh. You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. Excuse me? Why didn't you tell her before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. Are you out of your f***ing mind? Oh, then you never would have met us. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I could have done without the three of you. Oh. Teenage girl skipping down the road with three dudes. You didn't have to be afraid of me, Dorothy. Believe me, I picked up on that right away, tinsel toes. <laughs> so, how do I get home, you witch? Just click your heels. Click my heels?! Listen, baby talk, I'm about a hair away from punching you in the face. Please don't talk to Zip it, homo. <laughs> so I click my heels, then what? It better be more complicated than that or I'm gonna go ballistic. Oh, it's much more complicated than that. You have to click your heels and say, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> and you would have been home in two seconds. I could have been home two seconds after I got here! You psycho glitter bitch! Oh, 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 oh. I almost went up in a balloon with that crazy old man! You're enjoying this, aren't you, you sick 
Oh. Oh, you so much worse than the other witches. Well, at least I knew where I stood with them. You're two-faced. I was just trying to help you. I was trying to teach you a lesson. Teach me a lesson? You're not my parents. My parents are dead. Teach me a lesson. How dare you? This is terrible. Someone's going to get hurt. There's no place like home. 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 Joel, Joel, wake up. There's no place like home. Wake up. Oh, my big strong team Woodsman had a bad night. Oh, you need a little TLC if oh. you know what I mean. No, you won't. Oh, let me get the oil can. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. 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 oh, man. Oh. I can always count on Jedi Master Groku for that. I need to get more for, for him to play. Um. <laughs> Oh man. There there is also with with most everything I put on there's something some kind of connection to it. Um with that I I am a um a theatrical person, uh if you couldn't tell. <laughs> but really though I've been I've been in community theater since I was 15, which is more than half of my life now. But I've also directed and the la very last show I directed was Wizard of Oz. And that clip, which I had, I, I edited it down for for playing on here. But uh, that clip made its rounds throughout the cast. And it was one of those things that we all just were like, oh my God, have you seen it? Oh my God, this is so cool. And then one of them was like, oh my God, can we do this during brush up? And my Dorothy started to do it too. <laughs> she, she looked and, and and we didn't tell the gal playing Glinda. It was funny. Oh, giggity, 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 goo. Stick around. Stick around. Yeah. I love Family Guy. There's a few Family Guys in there. Um, or at least two, for sure. I love Gremlins. There's a couple things from Gremlins. There's a couple things from uh, Golden Girls. There's a, you know, there's a lot of good stuff in there. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. So, we last left... We had just gotten Sneasler. Then I went off off stream and did some um, uh, stuff. <laughs> but uh, I brought us back as close as I could to where we were. Um, we're about to go to, to do uh, the electrode. Let's go do that. But we're here in the Celestica Ruins. Now, I did already get the unknown. But if anybody remembers, I think it's called Celestic Town or Celestica Town. It wouldn't surprise me if it was Celestica since here are the ruins. Um, but in Eterna, in Eterna City and in Celestica City, there are statues of Dialga and Palkia. So I thought that was a really cool Easter egg. You know that they actually put it in. Um, oh, good lord. My mom just texted me. Hold on. <laughs> Whoops. Damn it. Run away. That's not what I wanted to do. I ran the wrong way, I think. Oh dear. I, I just, I, 
I just want to get to where I need to go. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Oh, now my package from Amazon gets delivered. Good lord. <laughs> oh. Forgive me while I respond to my mother. Uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Anywho. What is good against poison? Uh, we'll just go with my strongest. All right, so first when we get here, we gotta we gotta fight this fucker in a three on one, I believe. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electro. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sino. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode Seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Skunk Pink. Give them another whiff of your silent, deadly. There's one battle in here. Yeah, it's three on one. Like, what the hell? Oh my goodness! Why hasn't my... Welcome in, everybody! I don't know why my stuff is not um... Apparently I'm dead now. Person? Well, at least your auto. Uh, I, uh, I, 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 Welcome in. I survived it's somehow. <laughs> okay. Howdy, Rose. Oh. 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 Hello? No. Okay. No. Okay. No. No. Miss no. 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 here. <laughs> oh my no. God. Oh my no, God. No. Uh, things are going alright. Uh, we're just a few minutes in. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how was your stream? What were you up to? And, uh, welcome on in, Raiders. Welcome on in. Uh, I am that casual guy. No, I pushed a button. No, you pushed, pushed a button. button I pushed there. a button. Now your turn, my turn. I pushed a button. I am a, uh... Variety streamer, there's the word I was looking for. <laughs> um, and I play, I play things like Pokemon, uh, Resident Evil, um, Final Fantasy. Uh, right now, it's a lot of JRPGs, Star Ocean, stuff like that. For a uh, list of what I'm currently playing right now, it's down in the 
um, about me section. They unpacking. Oh, that's that's definitely a super chill game. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, how'd you uh, find me or hear about me? Were you nudged in my direction or uh, just chosen random? The leader, the leader, Thank you, Real the Potato leader, Wizard, for the follow. The leader, he may go. Now the alerts want to run. <laughs> I have a really great raid alert, but uh, from uh, How to Train Your Dragon, awesome. Uh, but yeah, no, welcome on in, everybody. Um, but yeah, sorry, my mom's having an issue, so she's been texting me. So if I just go like this and I stop talking, that's probably why. So I do apologize. Oh, you've been here a while. Oh, cool. You don't remember who referred you to me? Okay. Well, well welcome, welcome in. I really do hope you appreciate your stay. Oh, you were already Apollo. Yeah, so you have been here for a bit. All right. You were either raided in at one point or probably a uh, shout out somewhere else. There's a lot of people that, uh, uh, I can think of where your name I might have seen. A lot of people within like... Believe what you want, community. see if I care. Hypersexual bitch. Oh, I love it. Oh, Betty White, may she rest in peace. Um, <laughs> Betty White is a national treasure. Um, for sure. Uh, cheers to Betty. And yes, Rose, it is made his blood like you were talking you can tell by my disdain. Um, <laughs> out of all my flavors, it's me. It was sea salt. Okay. Um, but for those of you just joining us, we do have, as you can tell, sound effects commands, as well as video commands. So there it is. Uh, right now, I'm going to... To, let's see here, try and find someone to kick these guys' arse. Um, hey, no worries, no worries. I know what it's like to, to, you need to go do stuff after you stream. It's totally okay. You have a wonderful, wonderful evening or whatever time of day it is for you, and I'm sure I'll see you around. This three-on-one fight is bullshit. Pure and utter. Oh. Anyways, how are you doing, Rose? And I realized uh, last night that I kind of cut off the video chat in the middle of you saying something, so I do apologize. I'm gonna die. I'm here to kill chaos. Okay. It looks like chaos has been waiting for us. I want to kill Chaos. This is the Shrine of Chaos. We're here to kill Chaos. I become Chaos. You know that game's almost out. I did, I heard the last little bit and I was like, oh, this is I was hitting the button and I was like, oh no. And I felt so bad, but I was also so damn tired. <laughs> Pretty shiny. Actually, it's a pretty unicorn.
Yes, all those fun videos are just the same video with different music, by the way. Just one. It was a thing within the community that we all did. Look at her butt. That was originally put in one that's also, you know, I mean, I was like in junior high when that song came out. But um, uh, there is this part in Star Ocean 4, The Last Hope, where after a battle ends, if, if Remy is the um, one to get the last shot in, the camera pans around her butt. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I just lacked uh, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Uh, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? Oh my word. The Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending sounds of wisdom. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. <laughs> What's the matter? Upset? Too bad anger doesn't make bombs. <laughs> Melee is really giving you the runaround, isn't he, casual? This guy's voice changes every stream, I swear. I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Adam, man! What now? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle what he needs to find just like that? Lest we forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melee. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melee. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Casual here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell him what he needs, crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to him. Now, it's time to make some bombs. So lend a hand, both of you. Fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melee shirked his duties as warden. I'll help you make your precious balls. I do need to go through and find some crunchy salt, though, for what's his butt. There. I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electro. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Can you heal me? Can you heal me? So, even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode? No, I'll pass right now, mate. I need to heal. Well, what did I make all these bombs for then? Did you just want to gawk at my skillful handiwork? Yeah, bitch, whatever. Oh, by the way, this is also an 18 plus stream. Words get said that may not be 
you know, okay for younger ears. <laughs> Just so y'all know. Electric and grass. It's earth that I need. But we'll make we'll make rapid ash fun center for that then. Okie dokie while we're at it, let's save. Let's do this. Let's uh, quell Electrode, and then we can go into parts of the game I haven't played yet. So it'll be back to being a first playthrough. Huh. You have a great deal more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. Word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. This one took me a while. For sure. <laughs> We're one... One away from a 12 hour stream, guys. I think, I think the, the Hisuian Voltorps are The Hisuian Electro? Should've kept the eyebrows. I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> Some of the sounds are me. <laughs> Part part grass too. Dang it! I hit the button right as it hit me, and that's why it. Whoops! Oh no! I hit restart the battle. Fuck.
guy. Come on now. Did it! Oh my goodness. He knows it. That didn't take nearly as long this time. <laughs> to say hi. Okay, Ray Ray. Come on. Come on. Come here. There you go. Say hi, everybody. I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes, but now that Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me, Hello Baby. Glad its suffering ended properly. Properly? What kind of a word is that? Come on, TCGG, get your head in the Oh, come on, Adam Man, seriously? That's just your wishful thinking. Nothing, where are you going? Oh, a little shit. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit. But if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive right on schedule. Now what did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recalled some things after casual did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon, and with their opponents and their Pokemon too, with everything I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described too, Casual? It sure was. Sure do you got a purr to mouth. <laughs> I'd never th I'd never have thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Melee has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. So do I. <laughs> so do I. 
I wonder if Almighty Sano will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Hey, Adaman, share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sano passed down among our clan. All right, all right, all right. Open your ears. Shut that big mouth and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Bring not Almighty Sano to sorrow, for that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best to run toward the destination, an even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Casual. It surely lies with the next Lord. Now, this time I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilee Village. Perhaps with someone like Casual to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, Casual. So close. Can we find a way to honor our past? while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sano really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Wow. I don't know if there's any... But we're gonna look. We're looking for unknown. It's just gonna look like a white and black speck. Oh, but there, I do see a uh, Will of the Wisp. Look at that Will of the Wisp. I fell just a little too far. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I didn't, that's not one that I knew was there either. Catch it. How'd you die?
Whoops! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Crunchy salt. Yes. I didn't need to do that. I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Okay. Um, I want to go... Magic Carbs. Whoops. Carbink, how nice. I don't know what to expect here. This is all parts of this map that I haven't explored yet in my other game.
one is female, I believe the other one is male. Perfect. Trying to do it without him noticing didn't work. <laughs> Now. Yeah, let's try this one. Hippopulatimus. Oh, come on. <laughs> Didn't even know that was. It's time to just... <laughs> it's time to just fast travel. <laughs> Joke. 
Yes, let's re let's, let's report our findings. <laughs> yeah. Just catching them, really? Oh, because I caught two without being spotted. I caught two at night, and I caught three of them all together. They gave me 10 resource levels. Wow. Halfway to star number seven. <laughs> we have to go back. <laughs> There's no choice. None whatsoever. But that doesn't mean we can't clear some of these first. Because I want to see what the new hairstyles are. Billows and flowers. Wait, that's it. That's what I'll do. Wow, I just thought of some charming hairstyles and an enchanting new palette of colors. Sweet. I'm really hoping that she gets more than just two. But hopefully there's something I like here because if not, I'm wasting five minutes. See. Tied back is a new one, I believe. Shorn is not. Modern bulk. Oh, God. Well, that's interesting. Ooh. I actually kind of like that. Curled wasn't. Braid was okay. I like the fancy. Okay. Turquoise is a new color. Violet. Clementine. I think I want to keep it blue though. Cool. I actually like that. So we'll try it out. Let's try it out. See what it looks like with the uh, headband on. I think the headband can go. Actually, it's not too bad. Let's get this out of the way. Hey. Look that Pokemon up there. What's its name? What's it do? It's a Magikarp. Magikarp? Well, why is it called a Magikarp? Is it a cool Pokemon? Is it strong? Can it fly? No, it can't fly. Well, why can't it fly? Aren't those flappy things its wings? Tell me, tell me. Tell me more, please, please. You're gonna go learn about Magikarp, right? Can you tell me when you're all done with it? It's page in your Pokedex? with its page and its Pokédex yet. It's okay. Oh, wrong thing. Wah! I don't have that yet. I don't have that yet. I don't have that yet. Oh, I didn't get that yet. Or that. Or that. Or that. That we did. Let's take care of this first, and then we'll go talk to the big cheese. Oh, if it isn't the Cervic or Recruit who quelled the Lord of the Isle. 
That's a choice that you do negotiating for him again. Mm -hmm. messing with the computer. A crunchy salt. Hey. Hey. Stop it. Oh, damn it. This cat's gonna kill me. Or himself. Crunchy cake that Pokemon love to munch on. Yes, I want to know what happened between you and Choi. Finally, geez, come on. That whelp made off with my dearest treasure. Never let him live it down. That's all we get to know. Oh, believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question, wherever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it angered by something? Or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Oh. The voice hurts. Dinner's on Komodo tonight. Eat your fill. Okay, give me a second. I don't think doing both those is very, uh... Say conducive. That's not the right word. <clears throat> what an enticing aroma! My appetite just went through the roof. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less Onerous, or at least less dangerous task. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen to us from the sky and gone on to help the people of Hisui so much? Indeed! Taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Casual. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Casual, and the message is clear as day. 
It doesn't matter one whit where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps and Jubilee Village now. Thank God. Isn't it nice getting up early? Uh, is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens possibilities, such as responding to Commander Kamado's invitation. I swear to God, Amber, if you don't stop. In a timely manner. <clears throat> well, I got that same invitation and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on. No need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? Water is well, essential for human life. Shocking, I know. I'm sure we all can guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. I don't like the headband, I don't think. I think it automatically takes me here, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yes. Yeah. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. That wasn't easy. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I, I feared that I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah. Who would have dreamed? Who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising me. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalog, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Arida told us. Told me. Told me. She told me, damn it. Just me. Not us. <laughs> Your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord. And perhaps, in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too. For the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of Alabaster Iceland. Until then. With her pool floaties. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible. And to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Ooh, that voice though, man. Yeah. I love this. Abra, let's teleport this worm pull outside at once. <laughs> so, you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all Hisui. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. I hit the B button by mistake. You know your orders. 
Hop to it. Go, go. I'm the middle man. Ah, he said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it, but the story's not so simple. Please believe me for now that it's nothing you ought to worry about. Cool. Yeah, I just went with I just went through uh, cataract surgery with my mom last uh, June. That's why I was gone for a month. That, that was before you knew me, I think. I had to take a month off to go up there and take care of her. Even more wares. Are we gonna have even more and more wares? Now what do you want me to get you? Oh, I think I do I have one of those? I want to say I do. But do I have one on here or do I have one on my other game? That's the real question. Um, because I know I caught some. Hot. There you go. Yeah, you'll probably have to for like a month or so. It wasn't bad. Um, it's just that they did one eye, and then the next week they did the other eye. So that's why it took me so long, so. Now we've got new hairstyles and colors. So let's waste the $500 and take a look, because I like this hairstyle, I just don't like, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know if I, I like, I like it, but I don't. So let's see what, what we've come up with here. All right, short, messy ponytail, tied back, shorn, middle part, side part, modern bowls, side swept. We've already seen. Top knot's new. Ash blonde, periwinkle, oh, periwinkle's nice, ash brown, flax, periwinkle's kind of cool. That is stupid. That's the only one she got, too. Do I want to go back to my middle part or keep the fancy? I don't want to keep the fancy. So we're just dyeing the hair. That's all. One eye, then the other? Okay. Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was what it was. We'll leave it up for now. All right. Now let's go take a look at, see if she's got any new... I know we need to bring her, we need to bring the clothing lady, uh, both shellosis, shellosis. <laughs> oh God. We didn't have to wake up that early. I think my mom's appointments were at 11, but it's an hour drive into town. So, twisted head there, head there, warm cap, bowler hat, every day, 
Pokemon. Pattern, fancy, snow jackets, festival tops. Every day, Pokemon, pattern, fancy. Snow trousers, crop bottoms. Tailored suit, which doesn't work with the fanny pack. Prodigies. A Dracoish. Snow boots. My glasses, monocle, tinted glasses, snow goggles. So really the only new thing she got was like Pokemon themed. Let's head over here. I know I could have just talked to her again, but might as well just come into my actual um, house. change okie dokie so I don't want the cap I don't want it we're gonna do the snow jacket we're gonna do the snow trousers we're gonna do the snow boots the snow goggles Hey, Sorg. How's it going? Hope you're doing well, my dear. I'm like, why am I barefoot? Because I'm in my house. <laughs> I'm okay, I swear. <laughs> I'm ready for the snow. Oh, but I got a new request over here and here. Oh, look at that. He's got a new request. Oh, both of them are there. Never, never you whelp. need to patch their friendship so I can stop doing shit for them. Just saying. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Oh dear customer, I'm sorry you had to see that. No, you're not. I wanted me to see that. I'm there. He simply won't do business with me. Sure. Some sand radishes. Hmm. Living in your head, having fun. As long as you're having fun. Well, I have one sand radish. some gummies. You know flavors I dislike are alright. Hmm. What I'm about to do is clear out these green ones.
So this task is about all the Burmese. And then there's three different types of Burmese. But I don't think I have all three types. Sand, I think. <laughs> Hello, Raph. Kiss, kiss to you, too. I thought I had. There we go. That's the one he wants to see. And hers is covered in sand and minerals, which I think is this one. I believe the pink one is trash. Anyways, how you doing, Wrath? I'm doing all right, I hope. Kissy, kissy. <laughs> I don't know if I have his or not. That's a much better kiss. But well, there's two of them on there. Because I love my gremlin. But I love Miss Piggy. Nope, I have not gotten that one yet. Okay. Sweet! Get the hell out of here. It's just fast travel. <laughs> So, where to make for the Alabaster Icelands? That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of other nobles. There seemed to be little choice but to intervene. But this... Avalug out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul, as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalug's as great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know? I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should even be Whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far. Uh, but if we send Casual out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering in his frenzy... Like people say, wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our quelling the nobles? Or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokémon of this land? What is it he hopes to achieve? A way to coexist? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokémon. Professor Laventon. Ah, nothing to bother yourselves about. Uh, doubtless I'm just being a silly sausage. 
You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Casual? Then we will support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is another chance to practice your battle skills. I'm gonna win. Yeah, he's a silly sausage. I'm glad just to get the opportunity to battle you. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Survey Corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. Gonna win. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Did he go live without me knowing? How oh dare you. Oh, this is so cute. Alright, we've got a Mr. Mine. Um, we've got the Ashes. Right here. This is the cutest fucking thing ever. Alright, so I'm gonna give a couple of. Well, while I'm in the middle of this battle, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna give a couple of shout I wanna show you guys who I'm lurking. So we're gonna shout out Wolfie. Wolfing. Look at this handsome stud. He's haven't untied him yet, so we have to go do that. Uh, I always love always the Pokemon and like it rock for my. You're sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Lightning. I don't have them set up. I only have the first 151 Pokemon, because that's the only ones that I have. I mean, yes, there are other Pokemon, but to me, the original one, 51. Don't start with him on Barbara right. Batman. <laughs> and I'm also lurking on Mr. Phoenix. Cool. Get the fuck out of this. There we go, Cloak. Yeah. Nope. And then thank you for shouting out. Crap. Stephanie Meyer, stop touching me. <laughs> Stephanie Meyer, stop touching me. <laughs> uh, so if, spare, if you can spare a tab, go check those guys out. Or one of them. Let's see here. Well, yeah, except for except for that last one. For the two that I shouted out, if you can spare a chat to check them out. <laughs> How's that? Is that better? <laughs> Eleven months and thirty days. Yeah. Did you have cancer? Look at that. Yes. Yes. yes! No. It could have been in my stream. It could be no. in my stream. You don't know. It could. No. 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 I wish I had some ground moves. Oh yeah, no, no, go ahead. It's fine. Totally fine. <laughs> I just wanted to start with the two that I'm lurking, that's all. Because both are sexy men's. But then just the sexy men just kept on coming. of being a prince if you can't get what you want <laughs> so 
Sorg, your clips are cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, what just came in? Ah, uh, Death Noir. Alrighty then. There's something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fighting together. About your mission in the Icelands, well, it will be a challenge, so be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, my boy! It just, you know... Ooh, there's a mass outbreak. Meh. All right, from here on out, all new. Hey, I know, my snow goggles are very Cyclops-ish. All right, what's my flavor? What's my flavor for manana? My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these alabaster Icelands. Apart from Tao Hua leading the odd Supply Corps excursions to gather materials. Yeah. Blue ice. Is that right there on top, so I remember. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Arida and Adaman to try and keep yourself safe. Oh, ow. Oh. Casual. Something about something, something, something. How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? <laughs> well, I don't see how we could. Well, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty snow that reigns over time. Oh, forgive my bluntness. But if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty snow. Yes, yes. Believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is... You're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalug's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant what I said? We'd be headed somewhere even colder. Red Light District. I'll give you the red light special all through the night wasn't the right notes i apologize where else indeed ready to go casual sure stomp off without me this is why i can't giggity, giggity. people who giggity 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 care giggity. Stick around. about whether time is passing them by oh see you at avalog's legacy casual take care on your way
right. Oh, wow. That is a lot of... Oh, that's Snowpoint Temple. There's that. That's the lake. This is where the town's going to be eventually. <laughs> so it would make sense that uh, maybe the Diamond Clan is here. This looks like something important over here. Cool. All right, so this is what I'm looking for. Spoilers. Again. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. Monkey. Thank you. Oh, look, another monkey. Here. Ooh. Crunchy salt can grow on the sides too. Got it. would be well how it looks like an ice cream I wonder what a snowball does. I'll probably can throw it at a Pokemon, I would assume. Man, could you imagine? Oh, look at all these. Look. So that's where I need to head. That's not the lake, is it? Up there? Is that, is that the temple, then? I think it is. It is. That's the temple. Oh, wow. And that is the waterfall for the lake. Cool.
This is pretty cool. Six, so that's okay. Oh no, I know. Well, that hurt. <laughs> well, they're caves.
got it. Now I need more. <laughs> Sleep. Yes, I got the bird mine. Ah, come on, stop it. I'm doing it again, I don't know why. My my display keeps going out. Second, you guys. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> that should do it. Oh, Tizio, the Teets man cometh. Hello, you sexy beast, you. Well, it's not something I can break. Is it just the, oh, this is the, the rock covered in ice so I can um, evolve Eevee into Glaceon, okay. Hope you're doing well, sir. So. Oh, it's, that's the Take apex. Shot him up. He's so big. Some good old monster. Holy shit, shit, he's big. I'm sure you said you are actually. I'm sure you get told that a lot. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that beautiful glare over there. That's not the run button. That's not it either. Let's go ahead and continue on. Since we're here. Let's... 
Not bad for a Pokemon character. Um, <clears throat> well, that was a real slog, fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Avalug's warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. So show some respect, Adaman. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be casual, right, of the galaxy team? You think that's cold? You should revisit right now. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalug? I was commanded to. Positively mild out. <laughs> yeah, it's like in the 70s out here lately. Uh, that leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? It could trouble others. <laughs> 28 degrees and it feels like eight. <laughs> as far as I'm getting ready for summer over here. Uh, <laughs> Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzies. His frenzy. Our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalug, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalug's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? Wait five minutes if you don't like the weather. <laughs> we are. There's certainly some logic to that, but if that is what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. All right, let's do it, bitch. Any musculature is as hard and unyielding as I, oh, my musculature. Oops. I agree. I agree, Titsy. I agree. My muscular is as, is as hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? Oh, uh, how many gay Pokemon players are sitting there going, yeah, squat on me, daddy. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, it's doing it again. Alright, so I need... Let's bring out Driflum. We'll five Rapidash. Knock it off. Not exactly sure why it's doing this. Um, gotta be something to do with the splitter. I'm gonna have to take a look at the splitter. Uh, not sorry, I suppose.
think I might remember something along those lines, but is this a line game? Yeah, that's, yeah. Glad no one was there, too. Oh, goody. Outstanding! I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. I suppose you all can get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Casual, but I'll vouch for him. Then if you insist on quelling Avalog's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'd have to be able to fly. Which means you need braviary. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabby. Tell the long story long. You're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling out what you mean. Isn't Avalug one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. But fine, listen up. The, uh, this eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalug's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb to this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with Braviary's help. Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalug's legacy, I'll have you know. He says he made it to within six feet of the top. Might makes right. Or at least height. <laughs> and, uh, about Savvy. Uh, how do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snow Point Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Well, Sabby. Oh my god. It, the screen keeps going in and out for me when it freezes a little bit for you guys. I may have to do some things here. My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you meant about Sabby, but why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabby and let me focus on my workout while I still can. We have Sandalit. Or Salandit, I mean. Sal Salandit. Pokey catch. That'll do a great ball. That's not how you spell that. Pokey catch. Great ball. <laughs> And we are going to save. Make sure we go back up in here. And we're going to take a small little break. It might not be so small. I need to see if I can fix this. Uh, so I'll be right back. What the fuck is going on here? I'm in his face and she's in my ass. I can't make this shit up! Dear developers of RPGs and JRPGs, for the love of all that is holy, can you please start implementing a previously on feature for us old folks that enjoy your game? Not too much to ask, is it?
Hi, it's me, Solid Snake. I couldn't resist buying this when I found it. <laughs> yeah, everyone's buying Abby's beanies. Look what I found. Oh my god, you guys! It's bacon! <laughs> Look, I'm sane. I play with the controller upside down. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, <laughs> welcome in everybody. Um, uh -huh. I dropped my controller. Okay, so apparently. That was just. That was. What the. <laughs> A super white dragon moonwalking. Gee, I wonder what they were getting at there. Oh my god. But why'd you save us? Because... Well, hello. Welcome back. So I'm a little pissed off because it's still doing it. I don't know what to do. So, yeah. <laughs> Hello! My name's Savvy. Nice to meet you, Casual. Same to you. I've heard about you. You're, su you're super talented, right? I bet you're going to be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Braviary's help so you can quell Avalog's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. Let's go, Braviary! So now I gotta go find her. You think they're a bit cold? That's so too. Oh, I need to catch some of those. Damn it! Damn it! It went out completely down. here in this cold oh but the question is did you catch me or did I let myself get caught hmm? oh and one more thing am I even really clairvoyant you might be hmm no one but me could really know right <laughs> anyway the challenge continues the next stop for our of our merry chase is snow point temple but the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you? Or am I bored? Hmm? Rosie Red. Let's go, Braviary! Dude, shut up, frickin', frickin'. <laughs>
Whoa! Oh. Jesus, I did it again. I need to see what's going on here is what I probably need to do. I, just, I mean, I, I tried. So when I, well, oh, when I stop streaming, I'm going to just check everything out. See a thing. Ooh, a chingling. Oh, let's so get the rough. Okay. Oh, it's nice having someone new out here to play with. <laughs> Safety in numbers or something like that. <laughs> anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. <laughs> but the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you? Or am I bored? Hmm? I heard what Warden Savvy said. If you have Warden Savvy's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of patterns on their chests, too. Okay, well... This is fun. Rock, steel, and ice. Ice, rock, steel, rock. Ice. 
Yay, memory! <laughs> Boo display issues! Okay. Alright, this looks like the first one. Alright. Steel. Ice. Rock. Ice. I already forgot it. Steel. up on an alpha it's not good for the screen to go out oh, I caught it cool. Kabuto in chat guess I've been caught. So we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with Braviary. Do you think that'll come to pass? I don't know. Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on? Oh, hang on. Hold on. I gotta heal. <laughs> you got cold feet now after chasing me all the way here? No, bitch. I need to heal.
Now I'm ready for you, home slice. Well, however the future turns out, blah, blah, blah. Yep. I'm gonna take your ass on. <laughs> now get ready, because here comes Rhyperior, Magmortar, and Electrive. All three of them go. Another three on one. Oh, and it avoided my attack. This is not fair. <laughs> Water would take care of those. One day. But we shouldn't have avoided that. That's gonna kill him. Okay, 
Yes! Oh, man! <laughs> Suck a minute. Wow, you caught us and you beat us. You've won all our games so far. But Braviary still wants to get to know you even better. Up to the roof we go. It's almost as if they took Noibat's thing over, you know, his ears and shit, and pasted it on Braviary. It's, All right, Braviary, why not test out casual strength for yourself? Oh, come on! Oh, fuck. Oh, cool. <laughs> He's hoping this one hit. Almost. Oh man, that was that. Oh, if I would have known that was coming, I would have healed. I can't believe Braviary lost. Oh, but that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye. Wait. I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. Braviary opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. And then gave me the sky plate. Thanks, Savvy. It is in the original uh, Diamond and Pearl. When you hit start on the start screen on the DS, that's the, the sound that would play. Sure, having casual to fly around with should be fun for Braviary. Yeah, I'm glad. A word where pe a world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you think this is Almighty Sinnoh's anger? Do you think this is a trial it's putting to us? If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy and we quell the last noble, calm Avalug, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who've been living here in Hisui for ages now? How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adaman. Hush, Sabi. I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Snow myself. It's like Willy Wonka's, exactly. The question is, does listening to Adaman fascinate you or bore you to tears? Hmm... Anyway, casual, it's time for you to go soar with Braviary. If you jump from way up here, Braviary can take you gliding just about anywhere. 
But don't forget to get the eternal ice. That's why you needed Braviary in the first place, right? Avalug's legacy is down there. Now go get a feel for flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. And summon by pressing the plus button. We also, if you're falling from some height, to summon him in a flash. Heart phone is beeping. I got eternal eyes. <laughs> At last, this summit is conquered. And I see you made it too. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? I do, have res I do have to respect the effort you put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord Avalug. Meet me at the Ice Peak Arena. Zig Zag Boom. Now don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Till next we meet. <sighs> Excuse me. Save. All right. So, oh. mm. <clears throat> excuse me for the stretch. I think that's good enough for today. I do. I do. I do. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Well, we know he's on. <laughs> Uh hmm. I don't think that's what we're gonna team it. I think that's what we're gonna do. Alright. But first I wanted to show you something. Thank you for the raid messages. Since you guys missed it in the beginning, oh my god, now my, my freaking stream deck is tripping out too. I wanted to show you guys the new intro. That's the new intro thing between the starting soon screen and this screen. When I start, that's what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. One thing that we never got around to, I believe. 
was this. Stop. Hey, friend. Oh, the horse thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> You, you don't mess with a man's hat. You're welcome. You Good day. So don't. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to raid Phoenix. Who is playing Lunar? Silver Star story complete. Uh, again. There's the raid messages. I should be back on tomorrow. Hopefully I can get started sooner. Um, that way I might be able to pull a double. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do any um, grinding off screen or anything like that. But yeah. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening or whatever time of day it is in your little corner of the world. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye now. Mm -hmm.